Is this this is the car? This is actually pretty cool. This is a 1977 Civic, one owner from California. That's gangster. Yeah. Although you admire that, I'm gonna admire this. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Damon Fryer, by the way. That's Dave. We're just picking up a Panamera GTS. This is the only Porsche you can get in a V8 with PDK. They're just moving some cars around for us. It's like Supercar Alley right here. Okay, guys, vote below R8 or 599. What would you take? We have, a, up, we have a sponsor today. We do. We have a sponsor, which is Vava. Is that how you say it? That's right. Vava Dash Cam. I'll show you how it works. Super simple, amazing technology. Shoots in 1080, 60 frames a second. Yep. Really good daytime and nighttime capabilities. Throw it in the Panamera here in a sec. Let's look at the 599 right here. The 599 is where it's at. Ferrari V12. Oh, front yeah, engine. I take this over that any day. Rear wheel there's drive. A, there's probably a price difference I'm assuming between these two gears. I don't think so. I don't think there's any price difference. Hey Tim, 599 and the R8, same price, right? He doesn't even reply. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the uh, Huracan washed up. These guys are kind enough to wash it while we take the Panamera out. See if you can get the Huracan and the Porsche. This could be the thumbnail. Baba dash cams. Okay, guys. Open it up, David. Let's see what the people have. Looks like the suction thingy for the window. Yeah, it looks like that's a power, power cord. Use the tuck it. There's your cigarette lighter. And this is pretty cool. This is to take a snapshot. So you can mount this anywhere in the vehicle. And if you want to take a snapshot or record the last clip. Oh, it's a remote. Essentially, it's a remote. Da -da -da. Did they know we're Canadian? It's a hockey puck. <laughs> so one of the big differences with this, it's actually really easy to use. There's no screen on it, there's not a lot of buttons, and you can spin it. It's a what? It's a magnet. Yeah. Hold on, well, you yeah. gotta hold it tighter. Oh. oh, yeah. There you go, guys. Install on a coffee table. I love it. Right. Let's stick it in the Panamera and we'll hit the road after we finish enjoying our espressos, thanks to Joel at Silver Arrow. Oh. SD card included? No. So you have to buy your own SD card. You do. Thank you. You know what's funny? If that's the old V8 R8, I bet you this car would beat that car. So I gotta unlock it, that always helps. Did you get the build sheet? No, I didn't. Okay. But apparently this thing's like loaded. Look at all the carbon in the uh, door panels. Nice. Ooh, it is nice. If you like buttons, this is the car for you. Not only do you have all these buttons, look at the back. <laughs> Holy crap. That's crazy. I want to sit back there, chauffeur. <laughs> Ooh, you hear the V8? I did hear the V8. Room, room. This thing sounds good. First impressions this thing's nice, really comfortable. I've not switched any of the uh, current settings, so. We're not in a sport mode or anything like that. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm just enjoying it for the comfort that it is. Yeah, this thing's comfortable to drive. This is a really bad road. We're hitting some pretty good bumps right here. Wow, that's smooth. We'll play with the suspension settings and uh, put in the other sport mode and stuff here in a bit. We're gonna stop at graphic effects and check up on the S63 wrap project. Sorry, I'm looking around, I'm in an intersection. Well guys, we're back at Graphic Effects here to check up on the S63 project just for a little update for you guys since I'm already gonna be here checking up on my projects with Jay, which I will be announcing very, very soon. Enzo. Look at those eyes. Hi, how you doing? Let's check on the car real quick. Hey, you're playing with the dash cam? Yeah, here's the app, guys. Even when the car's turned off, you can see what's happening. So it looks like we're about to hit a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Look at that, all done. La actually, not all done. They're just finishing up the rear bumper. But for the most part, didn't look like this the last time we were here, did it guys? That is stealthy. It's blacked out or is this? Or do you have to? Oh. oh. So you had to do black over it. We 
we're just standing here admiring Hunter's efforts here on uh, the side of this Homa TRD edition from Silver Arrow that he was uh, got a job to do these designs on. He was saying how hard this is because it's what's it considered the one, like one sheet pre-mass pre-mass uh, pre-masking uh, uh, material usually means you're going on a flat surface. Well, this is curved and contoured. If I do it wrong, well, that's a complete reprint. That's a complete Which redo. happened to one side already. It happened to one side. I, Guys, I fudged that pretty hard. You got to check this out. Like, <laughs> like, look at this. He said the Mercedes was a walk in the park compared to this. So what really is impressive is this piece is all attached to these. So this is all, this is all one piece, all that. And it's on, like you said, this contoured fender. This is all attached. See that? Have a good day, sir. Huracan is booked in to get the new wrap. March, first week of March. It's happening, guys. I thought I had a date, but I didn't have a date. We only agreed on the first week of March. It's happening. Oh, wow, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I'm sitting on my phone, I'm like, what just happened? It was 7.20. Got like the bronze wheels. You want to make sure you, you know you're, if you're a watch fan, your watch collector, you got the Hublot yeah. <laughs> license plate. Man, you don't see many supercars in Victoria, no. let alone a 720S. It's like brand new. Obviously, I like it. The guy's a daily driver. Car's dirty. Yeah. Thumbs up to the owner. So yeah, they've got all this gold detail on the like rear diffuser and um, down along the side. I guess this is it. Would you consider that more of a gold or a bronze wheel? I know, but then this this is definitely gold. Yeah, yeah, it's not the same. It's all, it's like a different different color. That's cool, dude. It's cold out. It's even got red on the inside of the door panel. Sweet, little car spotting for you here in Victoria. That was very unexpected. It's very rare. We came down to see if we could get um, a nice shot of the Panamera down by the water, but it's super windy and you can tell because the water is really rough. Okay, you guys, we've been trying to find a good location but due to how windy it is, I don't know if you can see just how fast the clouds are moving across the sky, but that's an indication of how windy it is out here. So we're gonna have to just do an in-car driving review. So this is me just driving it in the automatic setting. I'm not using any of the manual gearbox transmission features. If I wanna do that, I can just move the shifter over to my left into the manual position, and now, it's all at my fingertips with this PDK beautiful twin clutch transmission. I'm in second gear right now. Shift a gear. That down blap, like, I love that. Yep. Yes. Love it. Wow, uh, that second gear shift was no joke. We're having a good day today in Victoria for car spotting. Ironically enough, stumbled across it. All right. You know what's funny? If that's the old V8 R8, right, I bet you this car would beat that car. It's got more horsepower. True. 420 horsepower, 440. Yeah. We're going down here, Clover Point. The boat. Let's go find a coffee spot that's not windy. Like it's so windy everywhere. It looks, it doesn't look that bad. Look at this, you guys. That's what we're dealing with. Trying to find a place to show this car off on the outside. Dave brought you the infamous Mocha House. Here in Cook Street Village, let's go get some good coffee and then talk about the things we love about 
the Panamera GTS. Thoughts on styling, dude? I actually really like this car. Yeah, it looks like uh, they took a 911 and stretched it out. Yeah, but it's actually, when you think about it, how perfect is this car? It makes fun noises, it goes fast, it has massive back seats. I, I really like the interior styling because it you feel like right at home as if you were in a 911. But what happens if you're like 30, bought your first 911, you get married, have a baby, first thing that happens is you sell the car. No, you sell the kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're not selling this, you got room for two. I like the black wheels. That classic, classic Porsche look. Can you pop the frunk and see how big it is? There's no frunk. The engine's in the front. Oh no. Cut that out. Huh? Cut that out. Oh, no way, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way I'm cutting that out. I forgot. I can't believe you actually, that just made my entire day. I gotta put this down for a second. <laughs> gotta put this down for a second. That just made, that just made my entire day. Pop the frunk, hey? You wanna see the frunk since we're looking at it? Yeah. Okay, I'll let's do it. Frunk. We popped the frunk for you. You wanna have a look under here? The 4.8 liter spade. Okay guys, well, I've handed over the wheel to Dave out to a more suitable area to stretch its legs. Dave, do the honors, hit that throttle. Okay, let's show these people what this thing's made out of. You got it. Launch it. I'm now in the back seat. Dave as my chauffeur. Hey guys. And uh, yeah, it is extremely comfortable back here. The back seats that are molded in are essentially identical to the front seats. They don't feel any different. They hug you just as much. And back here you have your own climate control settings. You also have some, I don't know what this is. Oh, you got cup holder. You have this thing, another, oh, adjustable cup holder. Somewhere to put an iPhone, I guess. Plug some stuff in. It's just really comfortable and roomy and you have a lot of room up front like Dave's in his driving position and there's an equivalent amount of leg room on both sides. My knees are not touching the front seat. I quite like this. Cool car. Oh, and the dude. sound of it. The sound of that V8. The cool thing about this car is like literally it has so many different uses. Like it can be a very comfortable luxury car on one setting and then with a the dynamic control all of a sudden it's like it's a Porsche. It's, it's a sports car. Yeah. It's cool. And I love all the branding, you know? You know you're in something special because it says GTS stitched into the headrests. You got, I believe this is all Alcantara center uh, sections of the seat. Someone wants to buy this car. Where do they go? How much is it? Silver Arrow. I believe this one's listed for 170. Yeah. Canadian, so. Yeah, looks like a huge discount if you're American. How's the driving experience, Dave? It's a ton of fun. Yeah, honestly, I would buy this car. I'm feeling left out sitting back here. You know, it's fun and all, but I think I would prefer to be in the front seat again. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's better. Dude, where'd you come from? The back seat. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Here comes again. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The little snack, snap, crackle, and pop. I really enjoy driving this car. I think 
It can solve a lot of problems for a lot of people, meaning if you want a sports car, you've got it. If you want a four-door for your family, you've got it. If you have a job where you have to drive around your boss once in a while, it, you can still do that in this car. I agree. I think this is the perfect car for someone who is a professional executive who wants the sporty fun, but doesn't want to have something that's too over the top flashy. This is a really good car for a real estate agent. Yes. Pulling up to a house, this wouldn't offend the buyers or the sellers. Um, it doesn't look like you're super loaded, but it says, you know, you're doing well for yourself yeah. and you've got some class and sophistication sophistication you got it the quality in here is really high-end all the materials are very luxurious you got high-end leathers you got sports stitching the seat belt has this red on either side of it it's not completely red so you get a, a touch of sportiness without it being like bam red seat belt in your face yeah it speaks to the whole car it's balanced it's it not does too much of one or the other it's very balanced carbon fiber you should have taken a left there you can take a left at the next one um, <laughs> and Again, the branding package, so GTS in the back of the headrests. It's just enough, but not too over the top. Finally, what are your thoughts, honestly, exterior styling, you're gonna take a left here. Honestly, I really like the outside of this car. Uh, this is a right. I did, I did, guys, I did say a left. I did say a left. It's all right, you can do a U-turn. Yeah. Uh, so, as we were trying to discuss exterior styling thoughts. I really like it. You know, it's when you first see, you don't expect to see four doors on this car, but the way they balanced it, it worked out really well. So nice job, Porsche. Yeah, you know, I was torn at first, wasn't sure if I loved it or not, but the more you kind of stare at it, it's like a lot of new cars when they come out, they're ahead of their time in some way mm -hmm. and it grows on you. So this car's definitely grown on me and we're back. Back to Silver Arrow, guys. Thanks for watching this video on the Panamera GTS, kind of our version of a review. The guys were nice enough to give it to us, and we really appreciate that relationship here with Silver Arrow. If you have any interest in any of the cars you see in the background of my video, all these cars here are for sale. This specific Panamera GTS, I believe it's going for 170. If you need to, go to silverarrow.com and you can check out the exact price. I'm sure it's listed there, or just contact the guys here and mm -hmm. they'll definitely give you a hand. Hey, this thing is sweet. Yeah, a Defender. Murdered out. Oh yeah. Oh, she looks so clean, man. Wow. Dude, it looks amazing. I try to actually not drive around and sport around any town or city just to be respectful. Yeah. It's there's obnoxious and then there's like you're being a bit of a douche. Look at that girl. She's like, oh my god. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button, throw us a thumbs up. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys are getting notified when we do our uploads. If you wanna know, like schedule-wise, I virtually always try to upload a video at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 9 a.m. on the East Coast. Um, I feel like that's just a convenient time for me to upload the night before and also gives everybody plenty of time throughout the day to get the notifications since YouTube seems to not be super accurate with giving out notifications when the videos drop. Look how good the Huracan looks. She looks so good, nice and clean. Um, shout out to my, my boy Dave for coming with me today, getting lots of the DDE errands done. We're so excited, we have so much on the go. The Huracan, the new build. I know you guys are gonna love it. Uh, I can't wait. I mean, it's gonna look so different. New wrap, new wheels, the ski box, the push bars. You pumped, what's up? I'm pumped. High five, high five, high five. <laughs> See, like we said, he's awful at high fives. Yeah, no.